Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review, well pub review rather. So today I'm going to be talking about last weekend, we went over into Nottingham City Centre on the Easter Monday and we went to the Cock and Oob. I've not been to the Cock and Oob since my stag did last July um, and I don't think I've done a review of the pub since probably a year before that even. So um, we went down last week um, for their massively um, discounted beers. So on Mondays, they've now done this thing where the cask beers are £2.50 a pint. The craft on the side is £3.50. They've got permanent craft lines. They're not involved in it. So there was some, there was some round corner brewing. Uh, that, like I said, they're not involved in that and they're madry in that. They're their standard prices. But uh, they had a shiny brewery at Easter uh, tap table over thing going off. So there are four shiny breweries on, 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 the, on the keg, £3.50 a pint, like I say. You can have them in thirds, halves and pints. And at the front you've got cask, which you can have in halves and pints. I think you could also have them in thirds, possibly, but... Um, I say £2.50, the, the range, they had uh, the Bang the Elephant Odyssey, there was Blue Monkeys Primate, I didn't touch that because, to be honest, I've had black many, many times. Um, Porter from Lantern Lane, and then there was another beer, no, and uh, Round Corner, Cask, um, Cornerstone, I think it was. Um, the Cockanoo is based in the Lace Market in Nottingham. So literally, you walk up from where the old Broad Marsh used to be. Got to get us started on that. Uh, walk up the hill from where Broad Marsh is, and uh, you just go a little bit up, and it's uh, it's there in the lace market, round the corner from Keen's Head as well. So it's perfectly situated for some two very very good pubs. Um, in the Cockanoo, you've got the, you walk in, you've got the bar in front of you, plenty of seating, mixture of settees, comfy chairs, stools. I sat on the stool and had the worst backing the next day. Um, it's not for me, stools. Um, around the corner, you've got another room to the, to the side. It is joined onto the Lace Market Hotel, which is above that. Me and Bullman Bear Reviews, when he came to Nottingham back in 2021, three years ago now. Um, we were there with his good lady. Um, there's a craft beer fridge with a lot of good lines in there. The the latest Bang the Elephant, Sinister Brewer, Emperor's Brewery collab was in there. 13 quid. And, uh, you know, as a sharing beer when you're out drinking. Fantastic. Always a beer you can pick up because you, you don't live anywhere near the brewery. And you don't like posted them, if you get what I mean. Good beer to take away with you. Uh, but yeah, plenty of good beers in there, both local and further afield. Uh, there's a room down, like into the basement, where they do the food, good food options. It changes through the week, so, you know, you'd have to check when you go, if you're after a meal or you have to have afternoon tea. They do some posh afternoon teas as well. Uh, bloke on the bar, really nice, really decent. Um, Got to be honest, one of my favourite pubs. The fact that they support massively local breweries is to be commended. Um, Zero Six Brew Company. Uh, I, I, think, I don't know if they've had Dungeon Brewing on yet. Red Dog Ales, you know, the, all the... They might have had Crich on, I'm not sure now. But, um, yeah, their supporting of locals is absolutely amazing. I mean, I've been there for a Bang the Elephant tap takeover. Uh, this week coming, there's a Vocation Brewery tap takeover. Sadly, I'll, I'll be missing that. Can't get to everything, you know, it is what it is. But, um, yeah, for me, an absolute must-visit pub in Nottingham. Obviously, when you're not on Mondays, the beer is going to be at its normal price. But even at its normal price, it's not a dear place to go and get your beer. So clever thing the Monday thing is I'm surprised it wasn't more people there um, I assume Monday is obviously the quietest one of the quietest boozy days of the week and but yeah I'm surprised more people didn't come uh, they may have done later because we was there early doors but um, you know 
absolute must visit pub and fantastic their support for local breweries um, and a good range of beer you can't fault it absolutely can't fault it and that's my review thank you